But in the first instance, um, looking at trust at an individual level, we're going to look at the work David Meister did. David Meister, well-respected um, consultant in this area, has written a number of books, specializes in consulting to professional services, but his research is relevant to all, all sectors. And in developing this model, David Meister developed what he called the trust equation. And let's just have a look at this uh, trust equation. In his thinking, he believes trust is a function of our credibility plus reliability plus intimacy over self-orientation. Now, what does this all mean? Let's unpack each of these elements uh, one by one. Credibility is about how well we do what we do, the extent to which we excel at what it is we do, our repeated success. That's about our credibility. Reliability is about our dependability and the consistency with which we do what we say we're going to do. Intimacy, this, re this relates more to our emotional intimacy than personal intimacy. In other words, the extent to which we are able to connect with others, have open, develop open and honest conversations, and the extent to which we prepare to be vulnerable face our limitations, face our, 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 our constraints. And the denominator in this equation is our self-orientation. In other words, the extent to which others perceive us as putting others' interests above our own. And in this instance, the higher the selfishness that we are perceived to exhibit, the lower the trust. The more selfish we are perceived to be, the lower the trust. Now this is not about um, ignoring our interests, only we can take best care of our own interests. This is about the perception we create, how much of what we do is driven by protecting, enhancing and promoting our interests above that of others or vice versa.